Ramble. Thank you to Upstart and Native for sponsoring today's episode. What's up with that? You know, there's always that one friend that is like, oh, SNL is so bad these days. It used to be so good. And I'm that one friend that's like, come on, guys, cut them a yeah. break. They're, they're, they're trying the best they can. I agree. And some sketches are always good. Some sketches are always bad. They might mm-hmm. not be the ones you remember. But did you see last Saturday? Because <laughs> there was that one sketch that I thought was pretty good. Drew Gooden did a video about that, actually, where he was like, I watched like one episode from every single season of SNL. And his conclusion was just like, no, it's always been the same. Like some of them are good. Some mm-hmm, of them are bad. They mm-hmm. do it every fucking week. It's Sometimes like, it's just 1 a.m. and you got to get yeah. something to fill five minutes. You know what we talked about recently is that one, if SNL started today, there's no way that it would succeed. It's a, it's a yeah. variety sketch show with two musical acts in the middle. Yeah. It only exists because of its legacy and then the clout of celebrity, which is just like a crazy, it's like what a crazy institution. Mm. But then I mean, also, if they got the celebrities, maybe it might have a chance, you know, a cold show, maybe. Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's true, maybe. But then the, then a crazy realization that we had uh, when we were over with our buddies, like if you are a sketch comedian today, there are very limited jobs yeah. and really your options are SNL and Smosh. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, that's a good point. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. Huh? What else is? There's no other sketch. So, like, you know yeah. what? Shout out to our buddies at Smosh. Way to mm-hmm. way to way to keep mm-hmm. the sketchers employed. Yeah. Shout out to our buddies at SNL. <laughs> you also are doing great. How you doing? Hope, hope By you're the way, still well. Th- those guys on Plead the new, essentially the new Lonely Island. The guys who do please the, don't destroy are incredible. They're so fucking cool, and like, they just made so Twitter good. sketches, and they were just really good. They and that's are they really really good. infuriatingly amazing, really and funny. it's just like <clears> they burst. I. There, I have nothing but good things to say about I them. I'm them. so impressed with the their editing. Comedy. Leaps off the screen. Here's something cool about SNL. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. A guy that I was in a Chicago sketch group with. Like this was like these were my people. Like it was a four person group. We did a bunch of shows. We performed together for like years and years and years. He just got to be a writer on SNL. It just sounds like rain. <laughs> when you when you hit it like that, it really registers. It's loud it's and pouring. Sudden. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm really. You know what I'm cool. thrilled about is that we are at the age, or at least I am. We're all at the same age. Uh, I I feel I feel a transition in my life where I no longer have the nagging. Um, uh, uh, jealousy over my friend's success, hmm. and we're at the point where a lot of our friends have found really cool success. Mm-hmm. And I want to give some shouts. Like our good buddy, Quinta Brunson, just had her show Abbott Elementary yeah. premiere mm-hmm. on ABC. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm so, so many of our friends are writing on that show. Mm-hmm. Justin Tan, uh, Kate Peterman. Oh, that's rad. I didn't know that. Garrett Werner. Like they are in this writer's room. They wrote episode like, and I'm just fucking thrilled for all of them. And then I realized I have so many <clears> friends <throat> who are writing on TV. People I started mm-hmm. with. I know writers on Ted Lasso. I know writers on Dave. Like, and I'm like, holy shit. All my favorite content in the world is being made by my favorite people, the people I grew up with and like it just all of a sudden and I'm just so happy. Yeah, that's really cool. It's cool. It's super cool to see. It's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Like way to go our friends. Mm-hmm. So I mean, some of the people like the, the writers I know on Ted Lasso, I was at this, sh- I worked on this shitty UCB show where obviously none of us got paid and it was just mm. like universally miserable for all of us. We all hated it. We hated the content that we were making, but I was like, these people are talented. <laughs> and now two of them are on Ted Lasso. That's, That's cool. really right. Yeah. 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 I miss the comedy community because of the pandemic. I feel like I haven't been out to live shows and right, stuff. Right. I mean, that's really, that's kind of where, you know, the shows are one thing, but it's the community, especially if you're like just getting started in a city or a new community, like get involved in theaters and start mm-hmm. to meet people. Cause you're right. Like 10 years later, those people that were like mm. in your UCB 101 class, yeah. some of them are going to be riding on a popular TV show. Yeah. <laughs> Tons of people from like my UCB classes are like really viral on TikTok. And like mm-hmm. that's their they have huge uh-huh. followers of TikTok and stuff. I have so, I've said before that TikTok has finally, I think, given so many Chicago comedians yeah. a platform. <laughs> yeah. Because well, there's no there's nothing there. There's not like you can go to these amazing training centers. You can do amazing live shows. But for money, yeah. No one's gonna see you, mm-hmm. and and you're not gonna make any money. There aren't <clears throat> any commercials really made there. There aren't any movies or yeah. TV shows shot there. So it's like really only a place to go learn to be funny and craft it, and then leave. 
it always and now felt, maybe maybe they'll be able to stay. Whenever I would visit Chicago in college, we'd like take workshops and stuff. I always felt like it was the artisanal oh. place. It's it's like, oh, yeah. It is yeah. the artistic this, mecca. This for, is the place. I'd be like, I was in a show and five people were there, but it was the best show I ever fucking uh, saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the addendum to what we said earlier. If you want to be in sketch, it's yeah. SNL, <laughs> Smosh, and TikTok. Yeah. 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 Some theater in Chicago. Some yeah. bar in Chicago. Yeah. Six, uh, six spots, uh, <laughs> second city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not many. Maybe you can get on a tour, co. That's true. Or a That's boat. <clears throat> a boat. People, that was always the, the term is like one of the best places to make money is to get on Sorry, a cruise ship. Sorry, it's called a ship. Yeah. But they, I always, they, they always remember the call <laughs> on a boat. They always Cru- correct us in cruise? auditions. Ship. It's ship. Oh, if you right. called cruise it a ship. boat in your audition, you're immediately cut. Cruise no, boat. Now tell me joke. if I imagine financially you want to be a cruise ship stand up because then you're getting all the money, whereas a cruise ship troop, you're, you're splitting, splitting it. it. Is that is that I so mean, you're probably right. I think uh, probably, but I, I think I, the money's not. Yeah, it's <laughs> not great. Not regardless. Great. <laughs> yeah, <don't laughs> regardless. But the good. point is wow. you're for the first time uh, sometimes for many people you're doing like comedy full time. Yeah, yeah. Right. you're also That's drinking right. full time and you don't have any rent. And fucking probably, <laughs> probably. Oh my god, you People know they definitely are. are fucking yeah. boats. You know they are. Yeah. If the boats are rocking, <laughs> the whole cruise if you can make that cruise ship rock, <laughs> you deserve everything. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass boat. Yeah. Ain't gonna uh, rock it with just uh, normal coitus. <laughs> <laughs> Super coitus. <laughs> it gotta be. Uh, I've, gotta I've be. seen YouTube comments lately. Wherever, you, whenever you say something like that. That it's like, oh, that's going in a compilation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to flag that. Yes. You ain't going to rock it with normal coitus. <laughs> that's going in a compilation. Coitus is a, like a really great word for sex. That's, that's a really, really good one. <laughs> we should bring it back. It was in the yeah. alcohol video of oh, me, me like, at your butt. <laughs> like bend over, look back in front of you, and you would say, I have a good view. <laughs> I have a good view. <laughs> <laughs> that's making it into a compilation. That'll make it a compilation. Love the compilation uh, channel. Make sure you're subscribed to Second Try on yeah, YouTube. It's got yeah. all sorts of funny Our secret funny stuff. second channel, which maybe you'll discover. It maybe is thrilling know. also to have content that like we we uh, we patronage, right? Like we pay for it, but we have no idea and no control over what's on it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we like we're genuinely titillated when a new video drops. We're like, oh look what Maddie did this week. That <laughs> one's fun. That's mm-hmm. a funny idea. We got Jake's uh Behind the scenes without a recipe. We did a little behind the scenes. That was cool. Documentary mm-hmm. there. The good one. Like, I, I think that really, if you want to know really what it's like, it really highlights a lot of our amazing uh, mm. people who are <clears throat> making these things happen. I think it, it shows truly how much work they're doing on these shows. And yeah. I like to see it. Like to see it. I like to see it. We love to see it. I like to see it. Well, Zach, Ooh, you just got back from Mexico, Mexico <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> see, now I'm ready. You know, I'm ready for Mexico. You guys ready for a world famous corn diddy town? Wow. Wow. You got, you've heard shark shirt. You've heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this is more in line with locked out at midnight. Uh, <laughs> It won't be as long. That was a good one. You have a history of giving saga esque. Yeah, tale. no, I that got was s- probably my favorite. <laughs> I only when I tell stories, they're either uh, stupid or sagas. And this week, I got a saga. Wow. wow! This is the story of how I almost got arrested in Mexico. Oh, oh. Yeah. really? Not a place you want to get arrested. Yeah. Not that you ever want to get yeah, arrested. Yeah, Definitely yeah. not. So uh, I've been going to Puerto Vallarta for the last couple of years. It's become a. a f- uh, favorite of my family. It also this time of year. I'm a naky bone guy. I got my AS and it, no, really like. Oh, I heard naky bone. <laughs> I also heard uh, <laughs> naky. I'm like, are you just naked? Because and you're going to blame it bone. on AS. Gotta, I they, imagine you're, you're allowed to be naked, naked when you I have got to take my bone clothes or. off, guys. Officer, I have to be naked. Yeah, like, <laughs> my yeah, bones sheesh. are naky bones in Mexico. <laughs> He's just. Got a boner walking around outside. <laughs> you should be arrested for that. I'm, I'm on the bones, and he's like, "Excuse me, sir." Just like, gently what? undulating on a trampoline with his naked boner. Good use of undulating. <laughs> That's a good YouTube. Video. I love. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, okay. I go down Your to Mexico when for as cold. long as possible because yeah, yeah, this time of year, even though you're like you're in LA, it doesn't get that cold. No, like the change in temperature here, mm-hmm. it is rough. It's for all me. over the place. You yeah. guys know, like when old men are like, "It's gonna rain tomorrow." I feel that. I yeah. felt that since middle school. So anyway, I really try and spend as much time in the winter 
down there as possible uh, just to feel alive. <laughs> so it's become a very special place uh, for me, for my family, for Maggie. We've gotten to spend a lot of time down there. But Maggie's family has never gone. And we're thinking about getting married down there. Oh, 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 honey. Better so, get to know the police. <laughs> yeah. So, that, uh-huh, did you say, uh-huh, honey? Yeah. I thought that was a sound bite. I looked oh, at wow. the door. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck was that? Oh, cool. Well, clip it out. Use it later. <laughs> this is going so good so far, guys. Keep this up. Uh, so, I'm gen- that was genuine. I, this, is my, this is how stories should be told. It's a, it's a group activity. Mm. It is the holiday season. We're spending a lot. And if you dread looking at your credit card statements, you're not alone. The weight of debt can be crippling, but Upstart can help you on your path to financial freedom. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. So whether it's paying off credit cards, uh, consolidating some high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Rather than looking at credit score alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, your current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash tryguys. That's upstart.com slash tryguys. And don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash tryguys. So, uh, so, but Maggie's family, they haven't taken the two of them a vacation together in, uh, I think 20 years close to it. All uh-huh. of her vacation time has been going to Peru to see her grandmother, which, or to see Mag- Magali's mom, Maggie's mm-hmm. mom's mom. Maggie's grandma. Hold on, okay. hold on. Maggie's mom is, is named Magali. Magali? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. It's pretty funny. Really that means name. her name was Maggie on purpose. And very she- confusing for people when they meet them. Mm-hmm. Maggie and Magali. Magali. Yeah. Mega Lee. Uh, so Mega Lee we, it was really important to us. We're like, you know what? Let's take your family on a vacation. Let's show them this place that we love that means so much to us. So I told you guys a couple weeks ago, like we did 10 days of our families together, which was insane. I can't Ooh. believe that we did that, but it worked. Uh, and it was like, we're going to show them the time of their life. We're going to do all the tourist greatest hits. But there's right. this one island. It's actually not an island. It's called Las Coletas. It's along the coast. So when you go up uh, north of Puerto Vallarta, there's one point where like, you can't, you have to get there by boat. You just, there's no other way mm. to get there. And it's this beautiful island. Elizabeth Taylor famously had an affair there, mm. which actually is part of what put Port of Ayrshire on the map. Mm. Uh, that's, that's, some, that's some special yeah. coitus right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, uh, so it's this, it's like Las Coletas is just this obscenely beautiful place that Vyarta Adventures has the exclusive contract for, so you have to pay them too much money to go, and you have this beautiful day. Normally, we go down to Nueva Vyarta, you get, you go to this, like, through this, like, little jungle entrance, feels like a rainforest cafe, you get your little croissant at seven in the morning, <laughs> and then you get on a boat and go. It's this big, big fucking boat. You see whales as you go. Oh. But this... Uh, yeah, just like t- like there's so many whales. What a day! It's and it's a, this great thing. Seattle could never. But this time, uh, the Nueva Vallarta was all booked up, so we had to go to Puerto Vallarta port. And I'm like, all right, fine, cool. So we get there, and it's like this big building with a lot of different stuff. And I'm like, this is an interesting, weird building. Um, and like we have to get a port ticket, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So you got to get a ticket to go into the terminal. It, you have to get like a port ticket to, for just to enter this building, and I'm like, mm. that. What is the that? The building itself is a tourist location. It, it, no, it had a fee, and I oh. didn't understand what it was, and it'll make sense in a minute. Oh, so oh, oh, so <laughs> I'm about to. We're getting on the boat. We're on this line, and they're like, you know, calling us through. And there's, it's like a TSA checkpoint. Uh-oh. And I'm like, what? Uh-oh. What? What is this? And so I put my backpack on the conveyor belt. Oh, no. And oh, of no. course, I, my backpack, guys, every time I go through, something gets flagged. Like, either like there's like a little bit of water at the bottom of my bottle or like just like some, they're like, what is this shape? And I'm like, it's a fucking gum wrapper. Like, <laughs> just a I, dildo. Yeah. It's a dildo. I'm the guy that oh, always gets pinged. So I'm just used to it. Mm-hmm. Whatever. And Maggie's mom, she, in classic South American fashion, she thinks that she can talk her way out of anything. So <laughs> I get pinged and she immediately goes, oh, what do you have in your bag, Zach? And comes on over and like immediately trying to talk. And they're like, sir, do you have an e-cigarette in here? 
And I'm like, <gasps> uh, I don't know. And I'm oh, racking my no. brain because I grabbed oh, the, no. the bigger backpack at seven in the morning when we left, right? Because uh -oh. I had my travel backpack and bigger. And I'm like, oh. Now, let's back it up. I'm an achy bone guy. Yeah. I live with chronic pain. I know where this I've is going. got all sorts of gadgets and things that yeah. make my chronic pain not feel bad. Like, in, like crystal meth. In every pocket. <laughs> in every pocket, I just have things, you know, just like everywhere. And I didn't even know. So he takes out this pen, and it is a CBD pen. And it is green, oh. and it has the little California marijuana leaf it's on it. CBD. It's all CBD. Hundred percent CBD. It's, really? It was CBD and it's, THCN, I think, which is like yeah. a non psychoactive <clears throat> pain killing whatever. That might be the almost right there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look. Okay, maybe there was like a little bit. Yeah. 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 All right. But I, Cali. <laughs> but I see this pen, <laughs> and I immediately go. Oh no. So I know what's happening. And Megali, meanwhile, is like full on talking to security. And so I just turn and I'm like, guys, go. Get get your seat. Cause I'm gonna be here for a second. And then she keeps trying to talk and I like get very sure. I'm like, Megali, leave. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I don't want to ruin this fucking. You put on day. your Optimus Prime voice. Yeah, well, and Magali, I Megali. Megali. Excited. <laughs> Roll out. <laughs> Keep in mind the context here. I've traveled to Mexico with Maggie's family for the first time, mm. right? Like gone on vacation. <laughs> and now I'm getting caught by security Where with a weed it? pen. So I'm fucking mortified. I'm like, guys. Get out of here. Yeah. Whoa. Get out of here. Is, uh, is weed legal in Mexico? So weed, luckily, was decriminalized this year. Oh. In Ooh. the past, Ooh. I would have been brought straight to prison. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Straight to prison. Oh, oh. yeah. Whoa. But what I did not realize is that this tour, for whatever reason, was taking off from a military port. Ooh. So I have now tried to smuggle oh, an e-cigarette, no. which for whatever reason is like on the same level as a fucking knife. Yeah. Do Ooh. you know why? Because vapor, I believe it's like e certain like weed flower is like sort of decriminalized, but there's a iffy stuff about vapor and like concentrates, etc. Interesting. And edibles like edibles are sort of in a different category. Mexico is interesting. It's decriminalized, but not legal. I was going to say you could stab somebody with a weed pen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So so I have tried to now smuggle a forbidden object oh. through a military <laughs> port, Hilarious. right? Which is just like so the biggest no-no yeah. that you can do. The guy later told me, he's like, hey, you can smuggle this through TSA, like through the airport a hundred times before you get caught. This matters more. This is like exponentially more strict. This is the only place you don't try and pull shit. I'm like, I didn't fucking know I was going to the military. Yeah. I'm going on a tour to do an overpriced tourist bullshit. But so then now the guy comes to me and says, so he's like, thank you. And I'm like, yeah, you know, you can take it. I didn't mean to have this with me. And he goes, okay, that's fine. You're not allowed to get on the boat. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? And he's like, well, no, you've tried to smuggle this. You are now forbidden from from entry. <gasps> oh god. You are now banned. And I'm like, wait, I'm You're banned. banned. I'm, I'm not allowed. He's like, you can try again tomorrow. But so now tomorrow. Maggie's family's on this boat and they're texting me like, <laughs> what's going on? And I'm like, leave me. Go. So I the guy draws me a map and he says, there's another way. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. What? You're about there, to be Dora the Explorer. What? You're there's trying to another? get to a weird place in Mexico. This is beautiful. <laughs> There's another way to get to this island. So you have to drive up. I forget the name of the city. Fuck. I'll die. But it's the last point of land before. He's like, if you move now, you can meet You'll the boat Whoa. And, oh, and get there in time. So <laughs> I immediately go outside. I hail a cab. The guy says, I'm not going there. I call an Uber. It's even cheaper. I, get, I drive 45 minutes. And during this time, I'm like, how mad is Maggie really? Is she like throwing her ring mm. off the fucking boat. <laughs> is her family freaking out? Like, they don't really know what's good. I should add that for whatever reason, Maggie's phone did not work in Mexico. So I'm communicating oh. with her through her sister's phone. Oh. So I'm like getting these like, yeah. it's fine. Hope you're okay. And I'm like, oh God, how mad is she? Luckily, she wasn't that mad. She was cool with it. But, <laughs> I mean, it was fucking mortifying. So I get there to this final point of land. And so it's a little peninsula? It's like, like a the little- Florida Keys? It's just not an no, no, island? No, it's just where the road ends. Oh. Just from nice. this point forward. And you jump on the boat. It's like a Shell Silverstein <laughs> book. <laughs> Where the road ends. <laughs> and I get there, and it's just a bay of water taxis. Oh, wow. wow. 
And now this you're gonna is... hop in the little boat with the, someone with an outboard <laughs> motor taking you across the little river. And this is just how some people get to work. This is their everyday. So wow. now I'm in line wow. with like this is there are no tourists here. Mm-mm. This is I'm in like this is the people's Mexico, baby. Hell yeah. yeah. And so I now and I have. How's your Spanish? Mediocre. <laughs> but I can get, I luckily I've been practicing so I can get through. So I negotiate a price. Mm. I say, hey, I got to get to Las Coletas. They go, no, we're not allowed to go there. And I go, I got a ticket. And he go, he looks at the ticket and he goes, all right, 100 pesos, which is like nothing. It was fucking, I gave, oh, him, yeah. I gave him 200. It was great. Right. And so now <laughs> I have this. That's in- not very good negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's going to be this much. I was like, ah, ah, I'll double it. I'll double it. I'm ah, just so grateful. It. So now <laughs> instead of being on this giant, touristy tour boat where they like do like a fake kiss concert i'm on my own private motorboat wow. ripping through the water <laughs> wow. it, was, it was private this is chartered not like it was me and you and a bunch of me and other four people. other dudes okay. who then got dropped off at their jobs yep. along the way uh, wow and then i just fucking real <laughs> real and i'm like 10 minutes behind them i text maggie's phone and they i like wave to them as i'm coming wow. in like a fucking Whoa. secret agent and when i get to the island not a single person checked my ticket so not only did i make it but i found my own secret way to this island yeah wow. and i got there and the first thing i did was pour myself a hamica juice hamica <laughs> hamica mm. and i had myself a day so that wow. is the tale wow. that's wow. thrilling awesome. how i almost got arrested in mexico but instead had a private adventure instead it <laughs> arrested gave you like... by the military police yeah wow. my goodness just even better than shark shirt <laughs> Uh, let's not be crazy. The ticket was like an entry to the island, not an entry to the boat. So the boat brings you to like a a, a dock, and that's how you. I keep calling it an island. It's not an island. It's just like a coastal right place. Yeah. No, and that's why he was like, I'm not allowed to go there. It's it's privately owned for the for the ferries. Yep. Did you get back? No, I just got on the boat. Oh yeah, because there's no I guess there's no security on the way back. You got there and you had a ticket. You must have taken the boat. That's a good point. Wow. It was sick. That wow. Was really cool. That's a that's an amazing story. I like I, you know, I started the day thinking that I was like literally gonna get my ring returned to me and instead was like, I'm a secret agent. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty thrilling. Right. Describe the water taxi boat. Like I'm imagining it's just like one guy smoking a cigarette, manning an outboard motor. Speed boat is it is I'm exactly seeing. what Ned just Wait, said. Really? <laughs> wow. it, is, it is like a little canoe with yeah. a motor at the end yeah. with benches. And I have, I have Amazing. some video footage. I might Amazing. make a TikTok of it. Wow. Wow. I don't think I've ever had a misadventure quite so uh, James Bond S. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah you know? I've never chartered a water taxi like that. Ah, oh, my favorite part of this time of year is the food. You know me, you know how I am. I can never get enough of how amazing everything smells. And speaking of smells, people, have I got something to talk to you about? I'm telling you about Native's awesome new holiday inspired scented products. Native cares about the products you put on your body, they're all about stopping the stink the right way way. That's the native difference. If you've heard me talk about Native's legendary aluminum-free deodorant, with classics and rotating seasonals, Native has a scent for everyone. Try their holiday-scented deodorant, body wash, or toothpaste in scents like candy cane. Candy cane, baby! The sugar cookie and fresh mistletoe. I smell great. I'm walking by. Everybody wants to kiss. That's just sort of the, the impact I have when I'm wearing this deodorant. So stay merry, happy, and fresh this holiday season. You will love Native's limited time seasonal products as much as I do. Go to nativedo.com slash tryguys or use promo code tryguys at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedo.com slash tryguys or use promo code tryguys at checkout for 20% off your first order. I don't think I, I even just like not even on the water. Like if I ever been trying to do something and couldn't do it and had to take like a, Crazy. a more way adventurous way. The only thing like once we got to like a Hawaii tour late. So the bus drove us up. The guy just drove us up in his car. But what? Like, wow. it was like a tour van. You're supposed to get in and go to the top for like this wow. thing. But we were late. 
Uh, and so the guy was like, I'll just take you. And we just hopped in his truck and we he drove called us up there. Boca that was very exciting. I think yeah. the, the closest I have was one time I accidentally went to LaGuardia Airport when my flight was leaving from JFK. Oh, um, that's exciting. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. is tough. Immediately hopped in a cab, just like feeding him 20s. And he was he was committed. He was like yeah. riding up and down the side streets, oh, like God. on the service road. Like Hell as yeah. soon as we hit traffic and the pull about, I like hop out and start sprinting with my bags. Wow. <laughs> There's a great takeaway there. Yeah. When given the option, give people secret missions along with you. Because you mm. told that guy, here's the deal. Yeah. I'm in an yep. emergency yep. situation. Yep. I need all of your skills mm -hmm. deep. Dig down deep. Mm -hmm. do here's it. some 20s. And I'm willing baby. to double pay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. you just unlocked purpose yeah. in that day. Yeah. I think we both had a great time. I wish the, my only regret is I never got to tell him that I made the flight. Oh, well, maybe yeah. he's listening now. I hope he's listening now. He is. What, what, would, you like to say? what would you like to say to him? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank the you. closest thing I have is honestly leaving your wedding and we were <laughs> trying to like get an Uber XL and because of, uh, I don't know, we had one too many people and the guy's <laughs> like, I can't take that many people. I'm like, but what if you could? <laughs> I, I never try to like put too many people in a car. I'm very against yeah. that. But I was like, it's like two something in the morning. Yeah. It's so hard to get Ubers right now, especially one big enough for like, and we were just trying to carpool the Cornfelds and Alexandria and myself because we all live within like a mile of each other. So like, yeah. we should just take one. And he's like, I can't do that. It's like, but what if you could? What if I just paid you more? And he's like, well, how much more? I was like, <laughs> Well, how much more? <laughs> oh. And eventually he's like hey, down. I'm like, I'll Venmo you the uh, an extra 30 bucks wow. to put one more person in your car yeah. and learning. get us out now. I just want to leave. It's time to leave. We already exactly. waited half an hour for you. Until next year, the Venmo like charging thing doesn't come into place. So we can get away with Venmoing businesses. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening next year with Venmo? What? Oh, it's going to be like if you do things that are clear, like purchases or paying a vendor, they're going to, it's going to, the tech, IRS is going to know. <gasps> Fuck. Yeah, Fuck. it's become it's become too big a platform, but too much money exchanging. Oh, yeah. And you're going to have to start reporting income over six hundred dollars like you would any other. Looks thing. like now, I'm taking all my cash out of the bank. Yep. <laughs> it's it's just like coin. Yeah, it's going to be a nuisance, but it, it does make sense. And it is how it probably should be. It's just going to mostly affect people who are just trying to pay each other wait, back. And it's going to create. Wait, 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 oh, wait. So whoa, if I pay whoa. if you, you like cover a meal and I pay you for. I, I think you'll be able to still list things and more reimbursements as separate. Mm. But there are a lot of people who just be like, oh, like let's a, a graphic designer would yeah. be a great example of someone yeah, who's yeah, like, oh, you know, it's going to be way easier to pay you this eight hundred fifty dollar rate for your last work over Venmo for me. Yeah, and then that is good for most both parties because it's not. It's it's hazy, right? What it's kind of like paying cash. What yeah. about siblings who are on the family phone plan who reimburse each other? That Reimbursement should be fine. It, it, it's, it's literally making a new tab that's like business payment. Yeah, I've seen mm -hmm. it. And it, it's right. going to encourage you to be paying through that if you are a business payer. I'm guessing it also right. like insures you somehow. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's ultimately good. It just sucks because well, change automatically sucks. ship you a 1099. You scared me. Well, it's mm. like PayPal too. Like you get, yeah. I think it's insured. Like when you pay stuff, you can get it back if yeah. they're fucked up or yeah. something. What's PayPal's game? I don't know, man. They <laughs> own they're trying to get me a credit card. I'm like, uh-uh. I think they own Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> like when I pay something through PayPal, did they just collect that like credit card fee? Famous credit card. Yeah, that's yeah. what yeah, it is. They're just trying to skim fee. a little bit off the top. Little tiny bit of money. But with Venmo, the they just do like the, if you do your balance and you want to do it, like I want that money in my account right the fuck now, they'll yeah. be like, well, we might charge you a little tiny bit. And it's like, I, can, I don't care. No, I can wait. Oh, you can wait? Yeah. Oh, I'm, actually, I'm I try to keep cost. money in the Venmo. That is actually good because it's free money. Well, it just, it lives there and I can pay people out much easier. I prefer my money to have no interest collected on it. You know, I don't want it to compound in any way. Not a huge so I, amount of money. I, like I don't keep, keep that much money. It's just more like a if somebody hundo. pays me back for dinners and I have like, my, I'll yeah. leave it in there so that it's so much easier for me to pay someone else back. I'm the exact same money. way. All my paychecks go right to Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> I have direct deposit on my Venmo. Out. It's not a bank. No, I, I, I'm kidding. I'm the exact same. I try and like, I like collect the fantasy football dudes for our league and so like there's like one point where i have like a thousand bucks in venmo and i'm like yeah. let it ride baby I know. i've been that way oh before. fuck we do that's how me and my friends play poker it's like everyone will venmo the same person then they'll pay everyone out well at the like the earnings but yeah. i imagine that that's not get complicated well you have to make sure you don't write 
like gambling or poker. You have to write like, oh yeah, you write groceries. Yeah. People, <laughs> First let of all, me tell you what. Only do private transactions. Don't make a news feed of you giving money to each other. Yeah, That's crazy what to me. It? It's yeah, Venmo being public. No, it's my, bad. My, all my stuff has been private for years. Always. No people sense. are wild in on in Venmo. World. Yeah, it's fun. The shamelessness with which people promote the fact that what, how much they're paying to who they're paying it's not how and much. what they're paying. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You can't see how much you used to be able to. You, yeah, you used to be able to. Be able not to. anymore. Not okay. Oh, well, that changed. That's good. That's really good. Back in the day, <laughs> people psycho. would be like, like $40 for leaf emoji winky face. It's like, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> you think the IRS doesn't know what that means? I don't care about the IRS. Number you... one, private. <laughs> Number two, you simply write the word reimbursement. That's mm. all you need to write. That's, That's nice. all anyone needs to know. That's probably what it is. Mm -hmm. So don't write what it was for. Just write reimbursement because reimbursements cannot be taxed mm -hmm. because it is <laughs> not money. We got some good earned. Venmo chat on this show. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just, it's just smart That's things right. to do. So that, no matter what it's new tab or anything, like reimbursements yeah. aren't taxed. So uh, your this bachelor party it sounds so much fun. What do you have any other fun plans? <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Guess we're going Friday. <laughs> where WWE SmackDown? No, no way! way. Crypto.com <laughs> <laughs> Crypto <laughs> It's not Stable Center anymore. Uh, yeah, we're going there. It's gonna be so fun. Um, I'm really excited. And the fun thing about it is because it's a live show. It tapes for East Coast, so it's actually at four thirty. Which means what's great about it is it means we're done at like seven thirty. We'll yeah. be back at the Airbnb by like eight or eight thirty. So we'll have a late Wait, so dinner. You guys aren't going to that party this Friday. Yeah, I can't. I I, this has been on the books for months. Oh, no. I wanted. I. I I have she, two she parties. Pushed it. It was three parties I can't go to. Yeah. Everybody put it on that Friday. I'm like, come I, on. Guys. I am bummed because there are a lot of parties I'm gonna miss. But it's yeah. like bachelor party trumps everything. Yeah. Cool, for Here's sure, the cutest sure. thing we're doing. Yeah. Is tonight. Uh, the the bachelor Body. and Mark and myself are all getting together to make signs, <laughs> and I've come up with so many puns. Bwo's <laughs> entering the, the ring, <laughs> uh, and like the, the ultimate tag team for like like uh, forever. Like we're gonna do all these. Wait, we're gonna things. hold these at the show. Yeah, fuck yeah, we are. Have you, I never hold a sign in anything. I've never been <laughs> to a wrestling awesome. thing. We aren't even gonna be on the side with the cameras aimed at us, but it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna fucking we're make gonna signs. signs. We're gonna block people's view. <laughs> No, I just wanted to make them. I thought it'd be a fun little thing, and then we'll, I'm sure seats. we'll trash them halfway through. Yeah, never been to a wrestling. Me neither. Gosh. Not that I've been to indie wrestling. Yeah, which yeah. is also, in fact, maybe a little more thrilling because yeah. they're yeah. amateurs. They might get hurt, so it's yeah, scary. But hurt. you can also be in the front row. It's thrilling. Right, and indie I've, wrestling. Where is that going on? Oh, Chicago and <laughs> L.A. We have a huge indie circuit. Wow, that's cool. Um, it's a lot of luchadors. There's like oh, right. uh, there's Dude, a big luchador, luchador fights underground. Fucking awesome. That's cool. Slap. Yeah. I got to go to luchador when I was in Mexico City. And there are, I don't know if it's every fight or like some, there's some sort of fight where if you lose, you get your head shaved as part Whoa. of the shame. Oh. And right. like there's also the unmasking. If you unmask a luchador, that's like the greatest <sighs> Can't do that. shame. That's and that person really... now, their their identity is ruined also forever. also shameful to unmask somebody. Right. Really? But that was part, yeah. so that's part of the wrestling. They like get the guy down and they're like, Whoa! and everyone's screaming as like the mask is coming out and then he knocks him off. And then, uh, it's but, cool. But literally yeah. this match ended with just this dude sitting in the middle of the ring and like kind of sobbing. I think it was scripted, but like while they shaved his long luscious locks and then people started like filing out as this guy just like pathetically Jesus. got his head shit. It was so sad. Yeah, that's crazy. I felt so bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're doing that. And then that's really the main, that's the main event, so to speak. <laughs> Um, and then we're just going to hang out and like there's a pool at this Airbnb. So we're just going to so like fun. bro out and have a good time and yeah, grill. That's... And we're going grocery shopping tonight to get everything for it. It's going to be a very fun little weekend, but I am most amped for WWE Smackdown. Yeah. Yeah. Really uh, we got good seats. We have a big group. There's like 20 of us going and getting seats in this section. That's like mm -hmm. a like it's like the first. You're going to wear matching T-shirts. I don't think we're doing the T-shirt thing. That's where the signs come in. OK. Yeah, I didn't. We <laughs> didn't do that because it's cute to have it. But then you have a T-shirt you'll never wear again. I don't know. <laughs> I wear my uh, bachelor party tanks quite a lot. Oh, yeah. Maybe if but it was tanks. It's a tank. So yeah, that different. makes it better. Yeah. T-shirt probably. Better. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be super fun, and uh, I'm very amped for it. Haven't done a bachelor party in a few years. No um, one has. Right? Uh, but I actually have to run. Keith, take off. <gasps> Well, guys, I'm so sorry to leave you so early, but I hope you had a good time with the tripod. I'm leaving you in good hands. Maybe Rainy will hop in. Get Rainy. out of here, Rainy. Maybe Rainy will hop in the seat. We love a good rainy moment. A little rainy day. Rainy, welcome Hi. to the show. Hello. Rainy, Hello. As, you, as you get situated, what's on your mind? 
Hmm. Boots on the ground. What's going on Boots with pop culture? Boots on the culture? ground. Ooh, that's a great question. <laughs> Keith, you have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear a rainy <laughs> scoop? Pop culture moment, I think, <laughs> is... <laughs> I'm still caught up on the John Mulaney, Olivia Munn <laughs> scandal. You sent me a bunch Ooh. of headlines. I it. sent you a lot of information. <laughs> so Wait, what's so the new news For about? someone that doesn't know, just like give me the 30 second version. Okay, so oh, don't know. John Mulaney- I think I know, but you know. Just. Was married to this really cool woman, mm -hmm. Anna Marie Tendler. And she's like this <laughs> artist, really cool photographer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, it's so funny, by the way, that I'm like, I've met Olivia Munn once, so I feel like as a friend, I need to take myself out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was she cool? She was very cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, that doesn't really fit with my story. <laughs> <'Cause> she <laughs> seems like stupid. She no, she like was like cool. genuinely. A yeah, fun, I wasn't detecting any bias in your description of, <laughs> of, <laughs> this, of his ex wife. This, yeah. Yeah. Ex -wife. Well, so, okay. So then. He talks about her all the time in his stand-up. He like super loves her. Mm -hmm. Then he gets, he goes to rehab after 15 years sober. He comes out of rehab in February, divorces her. And she's like really upset. She's oh. like, I'm so sad that John has decided to end the marriage. And then. He also had famously said that they never wanted to have kids. Yeah. Because I think that oh. she never wanted to have kids. Oh. Or yeah, I, I think he that's a little more key. Oh, he did? Let, I you know what? This is did. Rainey's telling. Oh, sorry, Rainey. I'll let you this say is my telling. telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm interested in that, though, because I... <clears throat> yeah, okay. So then <laughs> he... This is where the timeline gets a little spooky, is he... <laughs> <laughs> spooky <laughs> timeline. So all of a sudden, they, they divorce immediately. He's on a date with Olivia Munn. And oh. then... How soon after? Like, days. Like, it was really fast. Like, really... It was, like, heartbreaking because he got divorced. And then, like immediately like really really quick mm. and then he went on seth meyers they have a really adorable friendship so that was a great pr move <laughs> and he was like and we are pregnant and then it what? was i know How i know soon after the Olivia well pregnant. that's the thing is like i think it was before i think you know uh, yeah. I think there's some overlap we're gonna see when the baby is born but but then also now aren't they now they're divorced. What? No, not or, or, yeah. Now they're not together anymore. Now they're not together. That's yeah. tough. Right after. What? Yeah. yeah a, lot, I know. a lot happened. So it's a roller coaster. He sort of after rehab or in rehab, he grows close to Olivia Munn. Yeah. They, they get, she gets pregnant with his yep. baby. He mm -hmm. divorces his wife. Well, mm -hmm. no, divorces his wife, then gets with well, Olivia Munn. Then but they that's get the thing. That's the question. Okay, well, yeah, so either the way I'm telling it or the way... Either one, yeah, we don't know Publicly, yet. it got revealed. And, and then yeah. still, and now him and Olivia Munn are broken up. Yeah, and so, yeah. And she's still pregnant and having his baby. Yeah. Right after Seth Meyers, there's, like, this person who's like, actually, they're not really that good together, and Olivia Munn is an independent woman. It was just like, whoa. Whoa. Who said, wait, who said that? Her friend. Oh. To people, <clears throat> or something oh. like that. Wow. wow. Do we yeah. think that it's... That this level of parasocial relationship is good for us. Yeah. Good. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. This is a great story. It's storytelling. It, here's, it's like it's yeah. juicy gossip, yeah. right? It's good. But we, when we do this, we have to acknowledge that we are... Have no idea. ...making wild assumptions <laughs> and reducing real people's lives to our gossip fodder. You know... But you're not buying mean, it, Miles. Tell me. I think that Olivia Munn's... I don't think John Mulaney wants this, but I think Olivia Munn wants this yeah. attention. You think? Yeah. Yes. I yeah. think that Olivia Munn is like a that type of celebrity that is interested in getting big, yeah. big attention in this specific way. There's a really funny TikTok storyteller that uh, ha is mapping this story out in <laughs> relation to the uh, Green Bay Packers wins and losses. <laughs> oh, yeah, <crisis. laughs> yeah. I guess, I don't know, he did go to rehab in and out for a while, so maybe he's just kind of going through a tough time. He's going through a tough time. Here, like, I, look, I'm not, gonna say that I'm better than this because I also followed the story and I'm yeah. like, oh, this is juicy. Yeah, I off love the that. podcast, you love this it's stuff. It's <laughs> But then there's a, another part of my mind where I'm like, this is, no matter who they are as celebrities, like, this is just invasive on a level mm -hmm. and we're yeah. all making wild assumptions about these people <clears throat> and you, like even you saying mm -hmm. that Olivia Munn is the kind of person that wants is like we don't know that's based on the portrayal that you've gotten through the media that is totally who knows yes but it is a fact that PR agencies leak yeah. stories to the media 
to gain all the Brangelina shit. Not, but like that is sure, okay. half on part of like PR agencies being like, oh, here's a little taste because there's a movie coming out. A little crumb. Oh, crumb. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. like, uh, yeah. That's Maybe. Not, it's, if it's they're like profiting half. off of it, I feel like it's, it makes me feel better. It makes me feel less bad about talking about it. One thing that I found very interesting with the whole story is how much uh, people were quick to make Olivia the monster of this story as opposed to John Mulaney. Oh, yeah. And I'm not saying either of them are monsters. And I love John Mulaney's stand up very much. And I would rather kind of just enjoy the comedy and not pay attention to this whole sort of affair. But like people were like, she broke them up as opposed to like, this is a guy who's clearly going through a very difficult time in his life and is probably a very uh, complex figure that is not exactly what he is portraying in his that's stage fair. comedy. That's true. Yeah. So yeah. just a little, little, little dose of uh, classic and misogyny. For no, us. for sure. I don't right. think she necessarily. I mean, she's also like she's like pregnant, like with his kid. Like yeah. I don't know. I have a hard time believing that she would have been like, I know I'm pregnant with your child, which is a very vulnerable thing. A lot big change in my life, but uh, we're actually done. Like I feel like he probably was the one who broke it off. I don't know. By the way, yeah, I just want to. As a yeah. friend, I need to take myself out of this conversation. Yeah, I understand. Because yeah. <laughs> you and as Olivia, a dear friend, very close. we're very close with Olivia. Yeah. But okay, I'm not going to lie. When we met her, we because she was so cool, and like we vibed, and it was like... We talked like 10 minutes. We talked for a yeah. while, and like, I wish Keith were here, because he would be like, Zach, I feel like like you two were like really vibed, and I'm like, I kind of thought that was in my head, but like, I feel like we fucking vibed. And then, right after that, it was announced that she was with John Mulaney, I'm like, she has a type! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <a> dorky. <laughs> dorky. I was close. Do you think that, it, who do you think has met you and said that? <laughs> That you don't remember, <laughs> you vibe with them. I feel like I really vibe with Zach. Some like middling I, I, content creator. But I think they said it in a different way. It's like I think Zach was really trying to vibe with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did not care for it. Yeah, that's very funny. There, Gosh, what if the pregnancy was what divorced them? You know, um, I end the podcast there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say who because I'm thinking about like your vibe question. Yeah, there are a handful of our fans who mm. I know from from like the internet. Mm. I'm gonna count them on one hand Whoa. who if they were in LA and they were like, hey Zach, can we go get a drink? I'd be like, you know what? Whoa. Yeah. Interesting. Really? Yeah. Wow. There's like one or two who I'm like, yeah. And How do you, you know? Th- we're connected. If you think it's you, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to this and being like, it's me, no. it's Could be. I don't go to bars, so that's why I'm not going for the rest of you. But there's mm. one or two I'm like, you know what? Mm. Let's fucking that you do met? this. No. Maybe. Oh, just from their Instagram presence? You're like... Just just nice. from their social... Pre- I don't want to give away too many details. Yeah. I think I know a couple of people who it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That is, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, Rainy, that's really good. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. That's really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. And, and think- so what's the latest development? <laughs> like when did in the story? When did, a reporter, <laughs> but when did the last twist or turn happen? About three months the ago. Last, the last it was a while ago. <laughs> three it months was, ago, they broke up. Yeah, is the, basically quite, the last yeah. twist. Well, I follow Anna Marie Tendler on Instagram, so it's always a reminder. I'm always just thinking about it. I'm like, <laughs> like how so she's so cool, but you know, what's she up to? Who now? knows? She's selling her art. She that oh. that's her. Yeah. What what is her art? It's like photographs of her. NFTs. It's <laughs> <laughs> She's selling so many NFTs. <laughs> she got really into board apes. <laughs> no, yeah. do you want a board ape? What? Do you have a board ape? I, I, I wish. I'm not uh, right. what is a, what's a board ape? Uh, it's an NFT. It's not even worth talking about. <laughs> but, uh, but, but that's good. Anyway, yeah. yeah so, Rainy, you're on Bing Bong TikTok. Bing Bong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the tattoo right here, brother. <laughs> Yo, I would love a bing bong TikTok uh, t- a tattoo. Was it just, like, <laughs> it just it says bing, bing bong? bong? Yeah. Put it as Miles. your email sign off. Bing bong, Miles bong. Bing- <laughs> not bad. We can make what that happen. We will pay for it right now. If you want it, I'm not pressuring you. <laughs> but if you do want it, we'll pay it's for free. it. <laughs> did you guys finish that tattoo video? You, what was the conclusion? You liked him? Yeah, we did. A, is that out yeah. yet? Maybe. No, not out yet. Well, maybe. I don't By know. the this time? In December. We, I, uh, uh, I kind of still have, they're fading on me because I, I reapplied mine with, they gave us this tattoo marker. We, we, did we talk about this cool. on the podcast? I mean, People know the context? Uh, I don't we know. got fake tattoos, but they were semi-permanent. So they lasted for like two weeks mm-hmm. and they looked pretty real. And uh, it was interesting. I mean, I, I wasn't really interested in getting tattoos. Mm-hmm. And then I got the tattoos and I was like, oh, well, I can pull this off. 
Uh, you know, I don't he looks think good. Uh, thanks. Yeah. There's footage of Ned working out with his tattoos. Yeah. I'm like, oh, daddy. Oh, that's really nice. made me feel like ripped. <laughs> Did uh, Wes be like, daddy, what are these? To your I think so. Yeah. 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 And Did Ariel and Maggie like them? So I yeah, well, did Ariel? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. yeah, not really. No, maybe one or two, but yeah. yeah. In general, Here's I like, don't think she liked them. Here's where also you just had like three giant hearts with names mm-hmm. on them. It was mm-hmm. very funny. I so I loved them. Obviously, the designs were not the exact designs that I would have gotten, mm-hmm. and I gave myself way too many. Um, I I did this over Thanksgiving, so I was with my family, Maggie's family. Uh, Maggie and I love them. She kind of wants one now. Mm-hmm. Wow. I totally want one. Our families are like, for the love of God, please fucking don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's, uh, I want, I want, I want, I want them. I'm Which one would you get? I have a couple I want. A two, so. Yeah. But it's also, I still am like, it didn't fully answer the question to me of where on my body I want them. I do know, like, there were some parts of my arm where I'm like, okay, this was a waste. And like, like, okay, right here, right above your elbow is a good looking spot, but I can't see it. And so I had this one tattoo that I loved, but I just forgot that it was there. Whereas some on parts of my forearm, they made me happy all day. Mm. I had this one right here. Uh, what would you call this? Your is this your bicep? That's your bicep. I had one on my <laughs> bicep. I never know muscle names. I <laughs> and it shows. Um, it was a little like internet cat in an inner tube, and I He's forget cute. Th- you would recognize him. I, I don't know the name, but it's like a meme cat. Uh, oh, it's like yeah. the one you make out of like text. Anyway, <laughs> and that was so cute, and you just peek in, and I'm like, yeah, I would, I would totally have that permanently. Yeah. But I just keep trying to look at photos of like 80 year olds with tattoos and just trying to project and be like, do I want that? And I think the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I think it'd be cool to have. I'd say a knife on my inner forearm was not a great choice. <laughs> <laughs> a knife? Yeah, doesn't fit the vibe. When just, the video comes out, I'm going to read the comments like crazy. Yeah. Just and if I get people circular positive, feedback of yeah. your mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if public, I get positive you know, feedback like, game over public opinion <laughs> a public opinion influence your, <laughs> you your, comments. Uh, yeah yeah like I am known now sure. as a glasses wearing man all through college all through high school I wore contacts mm. when I got out of college I spent two weeks in Brooklyn before moving to LA my allergies were crazy I wore glasses mm. two girls said those are cute glasses I wore glasses for the next decade. <laughs> <laughs> I am at any given point one or two compliments away from making a drastic change to my life. Wow. I do yeah. it purely for I like that. for the approval of others. Mm-hmm. I think you'd look good with the shaved head. <laughs> Ned. Whoa. Keep Whoa. it coming, buddy. <laughs> I've seen it. You had a shaved head for the hair video, right? Oh, yeah, I guess so. You look at me um, like I just insulted. <laughs> no, I'm no, I'm. If, if this is genuine praise, I will do it. Yeah. There's um, no part of me that is not up for sale. <laughs> Miles, Monroe. how's your glasses? Do you get compliments on them every day? So I do get compliments on my glasses. Okay. And I do feel like they. I think that I've glowed up with the glasses. So minimalist. Glow up. I feel like I look at myself without the glasses and without the beard. You look mature. I don't even recognize myself. Yeah. But now with the glasses and the beard, I'm thinking this is good. Yeah. You're this, like, you're I'm telling a me a guy without yeah. glasses Rational. was trying to give me advice. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. And people also, it's like people, when I say that I just got them, like, I don't know what, three months ago, two months ago, people are like, I, I thought you've always had glasses. Yep. Because they fit my face so well. You've become the man mm. we all wished you were. Wow. Exactly. Wow. I always gave yourself. off the impression that I wore glasses. Right. And I didn't. Yeah. You should just keep saying I just got them for like years. I just got these. Yeah. Rainy, what drastic change are you looking forward to? Yeah. Um, that is a great question. Oh, a dog. I want a dog. That's I a big really life change. Really that is want a big dog. change. Yeah, but I cannot. I, my apartment is not allowed. It. Yeah. Can I offer you some advice about your dog? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me near him. <laughs> don't, don't let me near him. No, uh, don't, uh, here's my. Actually, this, this is not the advice I'll go for Miles. Yeah. Don't get a puppy. Okay, I'm sold. Well, that's not, I, yeah, why not? Because puppies are fucking insane amounts of work. And if you work. get a dog that's like six months old, yeah, and you you know that, then you don't have to deal with like the dog's already done it. You don't think that maybe some people might find satisfaction out of that level of some care? People, yeah, of course. Some people. I think this people, is not a, a advice to all said, people in the world. Said, he said, I got a don't puppy. get a puppy. I'm I think saying, your advice should have been, yeah. if you choose to get a puppy, you right. should know that it's a lot of work for two months. He, see, he, sk- yeah. he, he kind of skipped a couple steps there and said, Rainy, I know you. Don't yeah. get a puppy. Well, I and think it's fair. just like, yeah. it's you're in your life. I, you you know were in a relationship when you got a puppy. 
And so was I. That's true. And way fucking easier. And we had a roommate, Uh Kendall. So I'm saying like, if you're, it wasn't easy. If you're somebody who lives alone, (laughs) it still wasn't easy. You know, fucking (laughs) absolutely. (laughs) And so if you're somebody who lives alone, tough because puppies are like they babies have to go for out. the first little bit. When yeah. you said six months, there are six-year-old dogs that need homes. There are yeah. elderly dogs. You get a fucking brink of death dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ride, are, out, yeah. Ride, out, ride to the sunset with them. Right you know, the yeah. Just get, yeah. get the one that's barely hanging on. It's horrible. And pamper yeah. it. Yeah. Pamper <laughs> it to death. And, I mean, you do want it to imprint on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a wolf. <laughs> Did you get Bowie as a puppy? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, yep. Was he the cutest puppy? He was like a little fucking fluffy chicken nugget. <gasps> was cute. Was you know, cute. um, the person in the good place. Prison Bell. Prison Bell takes old senile dogs. <gasps> art, really by the way. Yeah. Art. art. I agree. Art. <laughs> I agree. Taking yeah. a senile dog. <laughs> no, the good, the good place. <laughs> oh, okay. Kristen Bell and I, uh, shared a dog trainer. Not Have you ever met? Time. Wow. No. I think that no. me and Kristen Bell would be friends. I think everyone I think thinks so. that. Yeah. I think yeah. so. I think That's easy. Similar vibe. I'm happy yeah. for her. Christian? Yeah, yeah, of course. I watched Veronica Mars. That's what I'm saying. OG but Veronica Mars fan over here. Really so, like you know, Michelle. like, way to go, Kristen. Yeah. Yeah, she's really cool. You did it. You won the test of time. You're in Frozen. You got that Disney money. And Dax Shepard. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. Hottest couple. Very hot couple, I think. We yeah. got paid to promote his podcast, and his podcast bigger than ours. Love Way that. bigger. Love that. And I, like I've said this <laughs> yeah. before, but I'm the poor man's Monica Padman. Mm-hmm. What, no, what does that signal right. mean, Miles? Why are you, are you making a little tornado? Throw it to the advice. Why? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But well, Miles Woo! is telling us to wrap up. We're going to keep talking on the afterbody at patreon.com slash try guys. We're going to hear about some of Rainey's favorite podcasts <laughs> and what Ooh. her recommendations <laughs> great, are for great you. Great topic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Great to, to listen to other podcasts, but keep listening to ours. Patreon.com slash try guys. And now. It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone get ready, Miles Nation. Miles Nation, go. It's advice that'll go for miles. Advice that'll go no, for I use the, I use the, I added in. I also had in post. Okay, okay, good. No, I like to get the timing. Because I can hear it. Yeah, the yeah, timing. Yeah. Just get the timing right. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever wanted to breathe super fucking deep? Yes. Ugh. Every day. I hear that. Have you ever wanted to snort down a cool little pile of Colombian cocaine? <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Without the high. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You just so just you just want the burn. <laughs> you just want the burn, and you want the, um, for lack of a better term, high. <laughs> Are you gonna talk about nasal spray? I obviously have a big schnoz. Get some flonase. Is that gonna be what it is? That is what it is. Ah! I've obviously got a big schnoz, uh-huh. and I've never noticed. I've never. That's enough. And <laughs> I. <laughs> And if you look at YouTube comments, it's clear. Um, uh, meanest one was I thought Miles was wearing a fake nose in this. Anyway, <laughs> oh, I have a big schnoz and I. <laughs> Next season of Candy Competition, Please, I'm making you wear a fake giant. Nose. Did nobody comment on it. Put, don't put it in the comments. It makes me upset. Oh, uh, you okay. should do. So, get a mustache. I do. Add the glasses. That, that, it distracts from the nose. That's why. But I think the glasses, maybe people think it's one of the glasses and the fake nose. <laughs> But okay, so enough about this. Uh, don't Miles' com- nose is so big. Don't comment about How it. How big is How it? Big okay. is it? It's uh, big enough to snort down a cool pile of cocaine. <laughs> but can't snort stuff, have a heart problem. Uh, so no cocaine for me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Ned? Anyway, but okay, so <laughs> when I uh, moved to LA, mm. I started having sinus problems. Sinus. Sinus. Mm. Snot. Was it, yeah. po- was it the pollen? Yeah, yucky, was it just the like pollen? Velcro. <laughs> and I couldn't. Was it the smog? Was I don't know. I really could or lack thereof. And Air quality has been bad. Air quality is bad. Mm. LA is that's a shit hole. Say in and the last 30 <laughs> years. was using Afrin every once in a while, but Afrin. that's like a fucking new. Afrin. That's the Gilbert Gottfried one. Afrin. <laughs> Afrin. <laughs> So what's Afrin? It's a pill. Afrin. Afrin. It's an antihistamine. So it is a, It is stronger than antihistamine. It is like a fucking nuclear bomb for your sinuses. Mm-hmm. If you want to breathe, if, you, if there's an emergency, Gulp. like if you have a live show and you're really, really congested. It's Afrin. Afrin. Fucking Afrin. Afrin. <laughs> Afrin. Afrin. You just snort Afrin and you're going to be able to breathe in five minutes. Zach Afrin. It is Zach Afrin. <laughs> it is <laughs> good branded campaign. <laughs> 
Um, but it's going to make you be able to breathe in five minutes. The problem is you can't use Avram for more than three days in a row because it's uh, really physically addictive yeah. and it'll oh fuck up gosh. your sinus. <laughs> just, is it like, you buy it on the fucking shelf. It's not like a, you don't have to go to the pharmacy again. I you can they, buy it on the shelf? Yes, yeah, shelf. And you can't use it for more than three days? Yes, because it's it fucks. That not makes only no sense. Well, your sinuses, after you use it, your sinuses will get swollen. The, like that. It'll make it harder to, uh, to breathe after you've used it because it's like... <gasps> And it gets kind of crunches up. I, I was under the, the impression that difference. all of these were wildly addictive. Yes, but here's <laughs> the thing. So I, I have been having these sinus problems, sinus, and <laughs> uh, I've been using Afrin, which is fucking God. It feels so good to Afrin. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to breathe deep. If you're thinking about getting mm. stoned, just be get us some Afrin mm. and then get stoned. So I in it for long term function and use. This sounds like a pharmaceutical ad. It's not, <laughs> not a sponsor. <laughs> not is We've not never a had to have a disclosure, a legal <laughs> disclosure for our advice that'll go for miles. Wow. Effort has many side effects. <laughs> Please do not use it without doctor but consultation. Fucking, yeah, look it up because it's crazy. But if I've been using Flonase recently, and I knew that I needed to do something, and fucking Flonase has taken the edge off in a big way. The edge off, and you can do it every day, Miles. Not to get stoned, Flonase. but to be able to breathe. I think so. It's actually Flonase, not Afron, that you're that you're. Now hugging. I'm sniffing on uh, Flonase. How often are okay. you Flonase? Every day. No. Yeah. No. Oh my god. Flonase, you can to use do it for every day. Flon for can, life. Can I use Flonase every day? Let's look it up. I thought you could. Can I use Flon? Because Flonase is not. Can I use Flonase twice? Listeners, a day? please. Do, recommend this, starting is, this is not no longer an advice column. This is a personal <laughs> opinion column. That mm. The views do not reflect Second mm. Try, can nor do they even reflect <laughs> Miles. He's just saying words. <laughs> Here we go. An overdose. Okay, an overdose of fluticasone nasal is not expected to produce life-threatening symptoms. Not okay, that's not the only thing I'm worried about. <laughs> can I use Flonase every day? Let's look it up. <laughs> oh, here we go. I almost thought I was going to read the wrong thing and be like, I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> so it says, unlike some decongestant nasal spray. Well, this is from flonase.com. So mm. I don't know if you can really trust this. A little, a little bias. <laughs> unlike some decongestant nasal sprays, which cannot be used. For <laughs> this feels like an ad in every way. <laughs> I mean, you, uh, most needed decongestants you can't use for more than three days. Flonase allergy relief can be used every day and provides a sustained 24 hour symptom relief. What is it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> how, but like, how long has this been going? Is it a pill? No, it's a, it's a, it's also a snort. You squirt it into your nose. You squirt into your nose wow. and you snort it up. It's I had, so I used it as a kid. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. How long has this allergies. been going, Miles? Uh, I've been doing flow nasal every day now for like a week. Oh. And it is giving me almost the high I get from Afrin. This is from <laughs> drug, drugs.com. Oh, fuck. Use two sprays once per day for the first week. After the first week, you may adjust your dose to one, two sprays as needed. After six months of daily use, you best check with your doctor, bro. Wow. Yeah. And I, it, by the way, my allergies are like seasonal. Like sometimes they're okay. bad. Sometimes I think it's like when the weather changes and stuff like that. Do you have any, uh, do you have any on you? I don't bring it to work. Okay. I don't want to mix business with pleasure. <laughs> 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 but it's, but my recommended thing is if you have allergy shit and it's hard to breathe, it seems like a good thing to have and to do. Hmm. It really felt like an advertisement. I know it really did. I don't mean yeah. it to. Pharmaceutical companies are evil. <laughs> Could you get sponsored for advice that goes for miles? Because I feel like you're a trusted source at this for, point. <laughs> I shouldn't be. I certainly shouldn't yeah. be. <laughs> I tell people but I'm just thinking like Skittles. Time. Skittles, you should if sponsor I said to people you. that eat Skittles. Yeah. Well, don't just drop a brand. Think, and then you know that. what? They're going to get free yeah, press. Yeah. Yeah. Free promo. <laughs> He'd lose you, his yeah. editorial uh, independence. That's a good point. I, yeah, And I'm, I've always been honest. Tough but fair. Yeah. Tough but fair. Tough but fair. That's fair. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, fl use Flonase <laughs> and don't comment anything mean about my nose. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. What what would you qualify as mean? Just so it's we know not anything. Just so, just so I know not to and, comment it. And it's a you can comment it. It's, it's an antihistamine. Yeah, right? is that the same as like Claritin? I, yes, but I think yes, I think so. But one is but you're not going to take feel the you don't feel that you don't get the mm, immediate, immediate. <laughs> that sort of. Yeah, and I do say that I wow. scream it. <laughs> All right. Did you take some this morning? Do you take some before work? I forgot to do it today. Oh, shit. I can hear it. I can hear it in your voice. I can hear it in your voice. <laughs> but yeah, this is my breath. Look, you know what? Maybe I'll add in a Let's sound a effect sniffle. of me after I've. Yeah. That's your sniffle. So here's my breath without. I didn't take it this morning. That's pretty loud. I will say. But you can hear the restriction. Yeah. I mean, let me let me breathe now. Oh shit, dude. You need some phone. Oh, I think I need some mine. Oh my Whoa. god. Radiant's friend. Whoa. <laughs> I, I didn't hear anything. I know. I yeah. Wait, what about you, Zach? Wow. 
Yeah, Rainy's uh. got the best nose breathing. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> that should be uh, my Instagram. Be young again. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be young again. My sinus yeah. is open. It's like, uh, it's open as a clam. Just got all nose hairs. <laughs> booger blockages. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm worried about, like, yeah, can you do some, like, natural, like, yoga for it or something? <laughs> Like, I feel like Somebody you- clip that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do yoga for my sinuses, Rainy? Yeah. I think that's yeah. probably... So maybe I some bet, hot yoga, you know, kind of just loosen mm-hmm. it all up. Well, I was going to the sauna up like five times a was week. In your jeans. In my jeans. <laughs> well, I did go in my jeans. Ew. Well, no. I would go oh and I would keep open, take my <laughs> underwear. In your jeans? You've heard this story because he was before your time. But I would... <laughs> before you were born. <laughs> I would go to the gym jeans? near our old office and I would not have any gym clothes, but I'd be like, I know I need a sauna today because I feel like a little icky. Like, I just feel like I have a headache. Yeah. So you gotta I go full I'd naked. Take, I would not go full naked. I would go in my underwear. Then yeah. I'd put my jeans on right afterward when I'm all sweaty. And then I'd drive home. Oh. There are several <laughs> really stuff. Oh. yoga to cure sinus, 651 K views on YouTube. Right? Yoga That's with Adrian has yoga for when you are sick. Uh, it exists. That's yoga not the for same. sinus. That's not the same. You just want to, you just want to pop a pill and cure magically cure it. You know what? It. You got, you got a, you got a mind body connection, bro. But I'll say Afrin yeah. though, if you're looking for like a quick, <laughs> <laughs> it just the, the ability to breathe deeply, I find is I lost on the, the right insurance Sorry, for this. Oh my gosh. No, I am. I think Gen Z correspondent, we are obsessed <laughs> with breathing. <laughs> Wait, what? You're obsessed with breathing? Breathing deep. Oh my gosh. I talked to all my friends about it. And we'll talk more about this on the after part. Yeah. Oh, I'm, all right. How, wow, what a tease, because I'm dying. Wow. Yeah, I know, okay. I'm excited. I feel <laughs> teased. Yeah. Wow, Patreon. I got to get over to Patreon and Cops Dry Guys, because I want to know what's going on, That's guys. Right. Well, another perfect episode. Oh. Get the merch. Yeah. Holidays coming around. Go over to Patreon. You're going to hear more. But till next time, baby. Rate us five stars. Don't forget to subscribe. Randy, hit us with the official tripod theme song. Oh, my gosh. There's no- <laughs> <laughs> Randy gets so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he does it, I am awestruck. Just, I'm like, <laughs> just, just start speaking rhythmically. Speaking rhythmically. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. John Mulaney and Olivia are not together after being together. We nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Until next time, stay beautiful. Stay beautiful.